What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyd, and I'm back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Ra. His name is Chemo. His opponent today in the red color playing as Poseidon. His name is Matrius. This is a best of five for the best of the best tournaments. Losers semi-finals. Winner of this game goes on to face Joe, who was the loser of the winner's finals. Uh, and then the winner of that game goes on to face Shelty, who's currently waiting atop the pool of undefeated, uh, or on top the pool of defeated players, standing at his uh, mighty, mighty uh, abilities of this game, in this game. Um, we do have... A Poseidon versus Ra matchup for you here today. Chemo uh, and the and the balance patch is back on 4.0. They decided to stick with 4.0 to the end of the tournament. Obviously, that makes sense. Um, and we'll see how these guys go. Ra versus Poseidon on Frozen Wastes is uh, is a is a matchup to to. Um, Really get excited about lots of avenues for raiders to come in and hit Chemo's gold mines and hit him on the hunt. Lots of difficulty securing second gold mines. So it's going to be a very, very aggressive game. Lots of options for both players uh, to be aggressive and get gold stars and get food punishes, get um, lots of that happening with the frozen wastes on the outsides of the... Uh, of the of the map you can't really wall very easily uh because one there's a gold mine preventing you from walling around this edge uh with the you can't build walls close to gold mines and then two you can't build on the frozen edge here so it makes it really hard to get those gold secured we do have some relics on the map the bow of artemis here we check out the map just a little bit uh it looks like Chemo has picked up a relic as well, and he's got Grugnir Odin's Spear, the extra 5% hack damage for Spearmen. So we'll see if he's going to go after those. How's coming down now for Chemo as it is up just in time, but in a bit of a peculiar position here. I'm not sure uh, why he's put it there, but he has not gotten housed. So that's great, and we'll see where he's going to go with that labor. Um, moving around the back, hitting... The caribou and it is gonna move nowhere special unfortunately uh, you wish you could shepherd these caribou just a little bit better but you just can't there's the monument of the villagers coming up eating uh what looks to be a bunch of goat as well we see some villager micro here from match uh, from chemo here to make those villagers run over into the town center and it's gonna look like chemo is going for a fairly advanced a fairly fast advanced time only two villagers on wood two villagers on gold uh, we'll see where he's going to go with this. I would love to see Kimo get aggressive here with Ra. Instead of going for two town centers or something like that. These, this town center is actually quite good for Kimo though. Because he gets the walrus. And he can lure those in next to the town center. To be safe from Hippolyta aggression. Uh, we do see the Pharaoh coming over now to empower this town center. Swapping around. Potentially Kimo will just go all in for that. Um, but it's going to be a late advance time, and we're probably seeing Matrius going through Hermes already, as he's got a lot of villages on wood, some villages on gold. This does look like a very fast advance, a uh, very fast second town center for Matrius, who, I mean, he's got this town center is protected by a wood line, but the, that means the walrus can't really come in. He's got this town center, and he's got elk relatively close. He's got his Lua, which is going to bring in some uh, some... Some food guys but it's like polar bear and stuff like that so he has to eat those already and he's finished with his hunt over here so we'll see what's happening here we've got the uh advanced time just about to come through for chemo there it is through ta house is now coming down for chemo as well as he's going to start them coming through there's the relic going in lots of villages on this gold mine but this is um this is looking like it's going to be very difficult for Hakimo to make work here, but we'll see. We've got the Theseus already over here on this town center. And it's possibly... We're either going to have to see Kimo get a box, build a box. So Shifting Sands, the heroes, into it. Or he's going to have to stay one town center here. And it's looking as though... I mean, it could be anything at this point. Lots of villagers on, on gold already. And we'll see what's happening. The centaur coming forward. Villagers moving over here onto this location. We've got the Hippolyta coming forward as well. So two town centers for Matrius, 100% here. But we'll see what happens here. Very late advance time by Chemo. 
Moving over onto this town center. He's got the priest out. He's trying to micromanage his villages around past the, the baton. Villages jumping out. And it does look like he's going to be going for this location. But Matrius is obviously well aware that this is what's going to be happening. Moving forward with the villages, he's going to be beating them back. He could get out. Uh, has he got it out? No, he can't get out. It's going to the Rhino just yet. We do see the uh, the Wadget firing. There's the Hippolyta coming in. Nice dodges there. There's the Shifting Sands into the base. He does pull off a couple of his own villages, though. And the, uh, the Hippolyta's going to be making a run for it. Villagers trying to get this town center up. He obviously wants this so he can get the uh, the Walrus here. Pharaoh not empowering this at all, but the Hippolyta's taken a lot of damage. Possibly going to lose her life as she's getting away. She's got 20 HP left, 14 HP left. The settlement's going up. Kadoskopos is hitting this location here. The Wadget is getting targeted down as more villagers getting pulled over here to help this one. The Wadget about to get picked off now. The Pharaoh going to come over, hit that. Hippolyta does pick that one off. We see one villager falling. Santar getting targeted down now by the Pharaoh, and it's looking like Matrius is not going to be able to deny this settlement for any longer. Wadget picked off, one villager picked off, Hippolyta traded, plus the uh, plus the the Shifting Sands here. And here's the problem. No problems for Kimo. Actually, I was going to say he's got a problem with the, with the food income, but it looks like the farm's coming down now for him, and he's going to cast Rain and be in a decent position. Let's see what he's got here. He's got Plow, Pickaxe, Husbandry, Shadoof. And Matrius, on the other hand, he's got Pickaxe and hus Hunting Dogs and getting his third town center out already. So it's looking like Matrius dictating the pace of this game, deciding to slow things down, going for the fast three town centers. What I would love to see Kimo do here, instead of spamming all these farms out, he's got a lot of them. He's got 18 farms, okay. Um, instead of instead of getting all these farms out, try and lure these walrus in after the rain. That way you get a lot more economy going. Does he have hunting dogs? He doesn't have hunting dogs, so I guess he doesn't need to do that. Now we're seeing the laborer come over here to throw some, some houses down. Doing all that good stuff. And we will be seeing a advanced time soon. Husband tree hand decks coming through for Matrius. No attempt at the next age, obviously, with the three town centers of Matrius just eating happily, eating the walruses. Bunch of goats coming over to this town center for Matrius to eat as well. Hasn't thrown down a stable or anything else. So, Kimo has to make something happen here. You cannot sit defensively in this situation here, being below, being down town centers. Um, so, we'll see how he goes and what he's going to choose to do. With his um, with his super boom, so it's a late-ish heroic age, about nine minutes, but it's decent considering he's had harass. He's got a lot of economy here. Only problem is you can't really utilize this economy well and throw a market up here in this corner because it doesn't go to the very corner of the map. This is as far as you can go down to this location. You can't really defend it either. So we're seeing villagers already over here. This town center sort of helps secure this gold line as well. We'll see if he uses that there uh, for the Migdol stronghold. We still don't see... We're oh, finally starting to see some military units coming out for Matrius. There's the Hathor from Chemo. Just before nine minutes comes up. The Pursuit Joss here. Jump into that one and get going. Um... Would be what he would normally do, but I, and Hippolyta was killed, so Matrius has to rebuild Hippolyta. It looks like there's the armor coming up for Matrius. You see walls everywhere for Matrius as well. Actually, kind of nice, but again, you can just walk around them. So I'm not sure what he's trying to do with that. There's the Migdol stronghold up. Will we be seeing a uh, Aphrodite anytime soon? No immediate siege works though for Chemo as well. He's just trying to boom. He's throwing up the market. Maybe going for like a, a Mythic Age here. All the resources spent. What's these upgrades looking like? Shaft mines being grabbed. Power is starting to build as well. Nigeria's just about to have the resources to advance here. Upgrades still archaic only. No attempt at, at the extra upgrades, but Kimo's now moving in with the Camera. He's going to be looking for a Locust. The villager spread is quite nice by Matrius. This is like the only spot which you could potentially hit, or this spot, or this spot, 
on this spot. There's like six villagers on all these spots max. So uh, an early locust here really not going to be that useful. More houses coming up, more farms coming up for chemo. Sending the, the cavalry in, looking for something. Maybe that's the location there. You get six villager kills. Hurt, chemo, hurt, hurt Matrius quite a bit. We've got Aphrodite coming through and Watchtowers. Now we're just going to start hitting these villages, looking for something else. No farms up yet for Matrius, so he can't even use his locust on that there. See the uh, Camaro coming in, going to be breaking down this gate over here. Camaro looking over to the corner of the map, going to be able to spot some villages, but the town center has done a lot of damage here. Matrius can just turn around and fight this Camaro if he so chooses, but he's not paying attention. He hasn't been alerted to it. Villagers coming over to hit this, but not yet. Both managed to keep that one alive. Aphrodite comes in. Immediate curse, but only three kills with that curse. Only three kills. And now there's a pursuit shots here. There's all the camera coming in, able to keep pushing for, uh, for chemo. And now we've got some Prodromas coming out, obviously, to counter the Kamori. Anemian line here as well. The Patsuchos is going to do tons of damage to these uh, Prodromas because they, they um, well, he does pierce damage, but the Hippolyta does manage to snipe that one down. Now the Anemian line comes in here. His chemo is going to be leaving, maybe going to make an attempt to come over onto this location here. We've got a second monument now coming up for chemo, still pumping out units here. The Prodrum is checking this town center, making sure it doesn't come up. Kimo can use his rock to jump over this gate and try and get this town center up as well. But it looks like Matrius is going to be going for this town center. It's not something that I think is the, the best option for Matrius. I much prefer to see him just go straight to the, to the Mythic Age here. But he's grabbing it and that's going to allow Kimo to hit some sort of timing in the Mythic Age, if he's got that one sorted out. Let's check out the economic upgrades for Kemo. Irrigation, quarry, bow saw, probably working on carpenters soon. He is trying to get this barracks up. We see the villager falling. As this is getting pushed in, the barracks are just about up. Town center is going up as well, and I think Kemo's gonna spot this one with his uh, with his camera. He does manage to snipe all those villagers. He does snipe them all. There's the ceasefire though. And there's Horus coming through for Chemo. So Chemo knows he can't go Osiris here. The Locust prevents any villagers from coming onto that location. Matrius is actually pretty close to going up himself. He's got his market up. He's spamming out the farms now that the Locust is gone. Chemo's throwing up a siege works right in front here. He can throw up a wall around here as well. Pick that one off. We'll see what he wants to do. I wouldn't mind seeing like a tornado on this location or on this location or this location actually and then and then come in and, and pick off the villages that are that are around there. You do see the villagers making their way over here. They were very, very late though. I'm not sure it'll get up quite before the ceasefire is over, but I don't don't know what's gonna happen there. Now we see Kimo's raids coming in, gonna hit this this gold situation over here. They're coming on the wrong side, cycling around. Matrius does spot it as he starts retreating away. Now the town center just about to get up. We see the uh, chariot arch is going to be denying it for just a little bit as the siege works is coming through. We don't have fortified town centers in just yet, but it is getting researched. Camry still looking for some raids and the town center gets up for Matrius. He's on four town centers now. We've got Artemis coming through for Matrius as well. We've got some side builds coming onto this corner here. 2,500 gold left over there for Chemo. As he is searching around the map for something to pick off. Still looking for the raids. Still looking for something to do there. Horus does come through now for, for Chemo. Where is he going to use it though? Using it on the main town center. Really, really smart. Should be able to prevent the uh, the, the town center from uh, from from finishing the, uh, the, uh, the Artemis if he's close. 95, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it gets through. No! Oh! <gasps> That was on 100%. And I was like, it's dead. But he gets Artemis just in time. He gets Artemis just in time. Oh, those buildings over here saved this town center, I reckon. And now we've got Artemis for Chemo, or for, for Matrius in. The, uh, the unit's coming in now. We've got the catapult targeting down this town center. There's no ceasefire left. What 
a manic game this is going to turn into. This town center should fall here for Chemo. He should be thinking about walls, towers pushing in here. Um, and Matrius is simply just going to think about just going all in on the Chimera as they're starting to pump in. Because what does Chemo have to fight against these? Not much at all. Catapult getting pushed back here as the unit's coming in. We do have the, uh, the, heart, the Spearman coming in as well. Already champion as these are majority Prodromus here. But the Pharaoh and Priest, in order to take down these uh, Chimera, is going to be the problem. We're seeing him doing a nice job trying to take them down with the Pharaoh, but the Pharaoh is getting sniped here. You sort of need to use your Rock here as well. We see one Chimera gets picked off there. Nice play from uh, from Matt, from Chemo there. Uh, we see Migdal Stronghold going down. Town Center going down to the Earthquake. As Matt, as Kimmy needs to throw that one back up instantly here. Population situation is 118 to 123. Very close for both players. We see the Pharaoh coming over here to help repair this one up or rebuild this one as fast as he possibly can. And the Chimera coming in as well. We see some militia coming in to help out. The town center will get up as the Chimera comes in, does some damage. But with the skin of the Rhino, it doesn't do all too much. The militia will snipe that one there. Town center very, very close to be going up as the unit's coming in. And we're seeing more catapults coming in out now for Kimo hitting that top town center as he's managed to defend here as the Chimera retreating back. We see the Spearmen taking down these Prodromus, the villagers coming back onto the farms doing everything they possibly can here to uh, be successful here. Uh, as a, but Atreus is still trying to hold on to this town center. We still haven't seen a wall set up here by Kimo, but he is managing to take this town center down surely. So... Uh, so not surely. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. We've got random raids coming up onto this top location here with the Chariot Archer. Nice harass from uh, Chemo to hit that location there. The Chimera trying to do some damage here, sitting with 400 HP. They do so well. Let's check out the upgrades. We've got Greatest of the 50 already through. We've got Leather Frame and Grugnir Odin Spear as well. Town Center for Matrius going down. Villagers coming in for Chemo, ready to take that one for himself. The Spearman able to hit that one nicely. And we see the Chimera falling over here. The Migdol Stronghold hitting this location. Chemo does have a problem that is going to, going to come his way very shortly. And that's going to be, where is his next gold mine? This location over here? This location over here. Obviously, I can see this is the location he wants to go to, but Chemo's village is much, much closer to this location. We see the mining camp coming up. He's going to need to send some siege units over there to push through. But now we've got the catapults going for this town center. We've got an Atlanta coming out. Um, we need to see all the units pushing in for Chemo to hit this location. How much gold in the bank for Chemo? He's got 421. The uh, Hippocon over here getting sniped. Villagers coming over here. Lots of Hippocon already over here, but the Spearman so strong against these units here. Matrius needs to think about transitioning into infantry at this point. We see the damage that Chimera does there. So huge. The Atlanta doing some damage, but not on the right units. Needs to be taking down the Catapult. Town Center getting very, very close to going down. More Spearmen coming in, hitting the gold of Matrius. Really, really nice play from Kimo to be consistently hitting that location over here. We see the Hippocon targeting down these villages. He has to retreat away from this location here. We can see some, some trading going on. As we can see, 27 wood left for the trades and 51 for food. Um, for that gold we see the catapults all picked off though and maybe Kimo can make a big bum rush of this with the spearmen to take the town center down but we do start, we are starting to see some Epaspus coming in and we have a, a Avenger coming through more raids onto this gold mine Matrius is hurting just as much as Kimo is right now in terms of the gold zero gold in the bank right now for uh, for Matrius. 179 for Kimo. We see the Spearman coming over here. Villagers returning onto this location. Mining camp getting taken down. Uh, and as this push still coming through, but still no uh, no catapult sitting at 99%. Might be worth to just attack it at this point here. Um, we are seeing the Pharaoh getting sniped down, but the uh, Spearman kill way too quickly as he's managing to take these down very, very easily. The mining camp is up. We see the villagers over here now onto this gold mine. Maybe we'll see some Chariot Archer Rage over there as that's starting to happen. We're seeing Kimo push forward into this location here. The army is in here. He needs to attack, though. He's not attacking with his Spearman. He's actually clicked onto the town center. 
Tristan to maybe to sacrifice some of his units. He can actually sit in here and take this fight with the champion Spearman, but he's deciding to, to turn back. Still doesn't have uh, the Spear of the Horizon to make these Spearmen super strong, but he has managed to get his gold mine back. Both players have actually. Now the raids coming back in yet again by Kimo as he's moving in with those chariot archers to take that one down. But this fight here looks like it's going the way of Matrius with those passers. No! All of the front units have fallen and Matrius taps out in the 19th and almost 20th minute of this game. And a game that Kimo looked like he was going to be losing here. Seemed as if Matrius just couldn't hold on. I think that ceasefire there, when the Locust came down, was the big turning point. Because had Matrius been able to cast a ceasefire, when Kimo was pushing in onto this location, maybe, uh, maybe... Matrius could have held here for long enough to get stabilized, utilize his Chimera a little bit more, get those out. But having to use the ceasefire early was just the the, the difference there. Not transitioning into um, immediately into away from Trodromus here was a big problem. And I love what Kimo did. He made like 10 Camelry or something and then pro forced out all those Prodromus and then made a real, real quick tech switch into Champion Spearman to make those Prodromas completely useless while just simply raiding with the Camelry, not engaging the Prodromas. So there's such a big advantage for Kimo there. A really smart play. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.